Finally, the school sent Abel's IEP in Spanish. An IEP is an individualized education program. It tells the school your child has a disability and needs certain services and supports to learn. The IEP describes the services and supports the school must give your child. Hi, Sandra. Can you come over tonight to help me go over Abel's new IEP? Of course. Anything for my favorite nephew. I have had to do this every year for Natalia. The IEP is complicated. Ask someone to help go through it with you. That can't be right. When I compare the services in the new IEP with the one I signed last time, I see that in the new IEP, he doesn't have speech and language services. I know he still needs speech services. Also, at the meeting, I talked about how I was worried that Abel has tantrums and he doesn't use words to ask for what he needs. The IEP has a place to write just parent concerns, but the school didn't put my concerns in the place in the IEP. I don't think I should sign this. The same thing happened when I got Natalia's last IEP. You don't need to accept everything in the IEP, but you should sign it so Abel can get the new services and work towards new goals. Instead, you can check the box that says you reject some parts. Write on the lines below or next to the box to say you disagree with the school stopping speech therapy. Or you can write a letter to the school in a separate piece of paper and attach the letter to the IEP. Then the school has to keep giving Abel the speech services that were in his last IEP, at least for the time being. You can also ask them to include your concern about his tantrums and communication in the parent concern section of the IEP. Thank you, Sandra. I'm glad you looked at Abel's IEP with me before I signed it. What happens when I give this back to the school? Once they get your response, the school should schedule a team meeting to talk about the parts you disagree with. If you disagree with any part of the IEP, you can accept the IEP, but reject, in writing, the parts that you disagree with. Then your child can still get the same services they have in those areas until the disagreement with the school is resolved. Your child can also then start getting any new services that are in the new IEP you will get another meeting with the IEP team to talk about the parts of the IEP you disagree with.